Hello everybody, it's me, Ghost of Ting here, and um, yeah, I'm doing a review again, hooray, well you're probably wondering what the hell was I thinking to leave my old channel, well, long story short, I was very terrified about what Kappa was doing, and I thought it would basically either delete my channel, which I would do it myself, or I get fined for 400 Oh, if not four hundred, not forty-five thousand dollars, and I didn't want to take that risk. And I waited so long. I waited for I don't know how long, but I still don't think this is over yet. But from what people told me, everything seems okay. But I don't know how long it's gonna last. If something happens, I might just either put this videos on private. But I'll be as friendly as I can for this video. Don't worry. But. Anyways, I'm back for now, and that's all that matters. Hopefully soon. But, all I want to do is reviews, and that's what I'm here for. Reviews. And let's hope I can do some good things in the future. So, what a good way to make a fresh start for my new channel with Studio Series 38 Optimus Prime. And if you guys remember my old channel, you guys know how much people wanted me to review this figure for so long. Almost a year now. And I never got a chance to do it in my old channel. But, since I'm in my new channel, why not? So, as usual, from my old reviews, is boxes. Really nice packaging, right there. Transport Bumblebee, Optimus Prime. Nice picture there, Studio Series 38. You know the usual packaging, Optimus Prime. I need to get Rampage because, boy oh boy, Devastator looks cool so far. But, that's it for the packaging! And here we have Optimus Prime in his truck mode, looking pretty cool, I must say. I really love this truck. And it's red and blue, like usual. You guys hear something, that's my fan, because it's hot. Well, it's winter, but my room's hot anyways. But, the details are really nice. The silver, the blue windows. Silver rims. Yeah, it's gappy, but what's you gonna do? I kind of wish this was not all gray, which was lighter, but it's still nice gun metal. I I think it's gun metal, but I like it. But it rolls really, really well. Probably the best rolling figure I've seen. Oh shoot! <laughs> Almost tried to run out of the screen. <laughs> Don't do that, Prime. Don't do that. <laughs> but he does come an accessory, of course. He comes with the rifle, and. This rifle can connect here. Why not? But I don't do that. But, yeah, that's it for the truck mode. And here's size comparison with Studio Series Bumblebee from the same movie. Along with Dropkick and Shatter. And here he is with the two Optus Primes I have that are probably the best Primes I have in my collection. The Studio Series 32 Optimus Prime and Siege Optimus Prime. One thing I will say about this new fi this figure I have right here, the reviewing. Uh, what I hate about this figure is that it maybe transforms Studio Series 32 Prime and Shatter. <sighs> Those figures are scary to transform, man. But, whatever. It is what it is. So that's it. Let's go transform him, shall we?
Shadows Optimus Prime in a horrible way of transforming him, but I managed to do it. But this guy looks phenomenal and fantastic. What an Optimus Prime figure, man. Let's take a look at his detail. There's the head sculpt of Optimus Prime, and you have to you have to agree with me that this is a G1 Optimus Prime, but modernized. This is a perfect head sculpt for a new modern day Optimus Prime. The chest and the the guts, the it's just everything about this figure is phenomenal. Sorry, but the camera not focusing. Is this too good? See the details there. In the back looks really nice. You can even put the gun here, and the backpack is not that bad actually. It doesn't look like a backpack. It's like it was designed for its back, and you could put any because there's like a port here for the slots or whatever you want to call them. You can connect them there if you like. I like this one because it looks neater, but we're gonna take this off because it's great for accessory. But the details are really nice. Articulation in the head is on a bone joint, which you can, it's kind of stiff though, at least on my copy. Arms would move to 6 degrees, but I think because of the backpack, uh, you're kind of limited. If you move that around, maybe, but I, I don't know. And you can move this tooth, so you can move the arms out like that. And swivel right here, which, you know, drill, and do the transformation, this can swivel. Sorry about the camera. And waist swivel as well and uh I wish he I wish he had a bat ab crunch though that'd be nice but it's okay spread you do like that the usual but although he doesn't go all the way because of again this stuff in the way so you're stuck with what you get and he has knees so about the blur and ankle pivot right there and go down transformation Proposability wise, this guy's good. Oh, wrist swivels too. Even better. <laughs> yeah, there's here's with his gun. Looks terrific. And so I just review is like pretty fast as usual. But I just can't do long reviews anymore, sadly. But here's um, pictures of him with the other figures. But the Bombi figures, well, the Bombi movie figures, he looks great. And compared with the Seed Optimus, man, identical. Very identical. And I had to bring this one up here. Here we have the Studio Series 32 Optus Prime. And I love this figure. At the same time, I don't like this figure because of transformation. But he's a phenomenal figure. But I have to say, what was so hard for this design to begin with? Like, we had this for so many years. Which is still cool. I love the design. I grew up with this as a kid. But this one... We should have got this one so back then, I have to say. Man, time flies, doesn't it? But, just want to compare the two. And I will review this guy someday, hopefully. But that's all I gotta say. So that includes... So that concludes my review on the Optimus Prime figure from Studio Series number 38. And before I move on and conclude this review, I want to say I'm very sorry if this review was different from the ones I've done before, if you guys are familiar with my old channel. I'm pretty rusty with reviews now. <laughs> trying to get used to it again, after the whole events on YouTube. Hopefully I get back, to, back on track whenever I review another figure in the future. But, we'll see in time. But anyways, this is a phenomenal figure, and I know this is probably one of the more sought, sought what do you say? My tongue's messing up again. The more sought after figures from Studio Series because it's the Optus Prime that looks G1. Like, everybody's gonna want this figure. So, I can see why people really wanted this figure when it was first released. I did for sure. So, in the end, I'm gonna give this figure a 10 out of 10. Yes, it has some issues I'm not a big fan of, but. The figure itself is amazing, and I just highly recommend it. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I will see you guys next time, hopefully. Goji Gallery 20, out. Yes, I'm 20 now. I'll be Goji Gallery 20 now. Peace.